Hi, I am Apurva Deshmukh from 9th A. All of us know that there are different types of microbes around us. We cannot see them with our naked eyes, but some of them are very useful in our day-to-day -day life. Today we are going to see microbes present in an yeast. From this experiment, we are exploring the fermentation between yeast and sugar. Let us uh, see the apparatus which is required. Two spoonful of sugar, one spoonful of yeast, one balloon, one plastic bottle and a lukewarm water. Now, let's begin the procedure. Fill the bottle with lukewarm water. Now add a spoonful of yeast to the water and spiral the bottle. Now add a teaspoonful of sugar into the mixture. And swirl the water some more. Now fix the balloon to the neck of the bottle. I have fixed the balloon. So we will wait for 20 minutes for the reaction which goes in yeast and sugar. Now let us discuss about the reaction which takes place between the yeast and sugar. We know that yeast is a microscopic fungus that converts sugar into carbon dioxide. Yeast grows quickly and multiplies very quickly due to the carbon compounds in the sugar solution. The bubbles we saw were tiny bubbles of carbon dioxide gas that the yeast was producing. The yeast uses the sugar and the warm water to grow. Warm water provides heat to the yeast reaction and accelerates it. In the process of obtaining nutrition, yeast cells convert the carbohydrates in that solution into the alcohol called ethanol and carbon dioxide gas. Let us, uh, let us see the chemical equation for this. Uh, C6H12O6 which is sucrose means sugar converts 2C, 2C2H5OH which is ethanol. E ethanol is a one type of alcohol plus 2CO2 means carbon dioxide. The conclusion we get from this experiment is the balloon inflated because of the gas present in the bottle which is carbon dioxide. Uh, therefore, this process is called as fermentation. This process is also used for making bread and uh, other bakery products. Thank you.